We're revving up your metabolism and working on shoulder stabilization exercises using nothing more than your body weight, a jump rope, 10-pound dumbbells, and a $5 piece of equipment to work the back of the shoulder muscles. I've told you in the past, you do not need expensive equipment in your home gym to get started. Exercise is about more than cardio, so watch and then follow along. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Back in Shape with T. I'm Tarashe, and today I'm working shoulder stabilization exercises. One of the exercises I'm going to do is a push-up with rotation. So as I push up, I'll rotate my body to work on the shoulder stabilizers. Those are the little muscles that help keep the shoulder from falling out of its socket to give you that stability that you need for sports. From there, I'll do more traditional bodybuilding, lateral raise to front raise, as I call this, the T-raise. From that, superset directly to a single arm lateral raise. In the midst of all of that, I'm going to end up doing some jump ropes, and I can't forget the rear deltoids. So for the back part of my shoulders, I'm going to use this basic chest expander, the old school chest expander. This really works the posterior chain or the back of the shoulder muscles. So you'll get to see how that all shakes out. I'm doing four sets of each exercise nonstop. That's jump rope, push-ups, shoulder raises, and chest expansion rear delt flies. All of that and nothing else coming up on Back in Shape with T. We're going to start kicking our metabolism into high gear now. Our first exercise, jump rope, of course. If you do not have a jump rope, you can fake the movement. Just swing your arms and follow along with me. What I'm doing here is 100 skips in my first set. I'm doing four exercises back to back. Starting off with the jump rope for 100 skips. Then I'm going into push-ups after that. Lateral to front raise, which I call the T-raises. And then rear delt flies. So you'll get to see the workout and then try to follow along. From here, you're going to see me do a push-up to rotation. Nice shoulder stabilization. As I push up and rotate onto one arm, my shoulder has to stabilize my body to keep me from falling backwards. So that's my external rotators in my shoulders, the back part of my shoulder muscles, and the triceps, as well as the chest. So we're getting multiple body parts working with this movement. From here, I'm going to do a side raise to front raise because I'm using a very light weight. I want to fatigue the muscle fast. Bringing it to the side, I'm working the lateral head of the deltoid. And the front, I'm working the front head or the anterior deltoid. This particular exercise does not require heavy weight. You keep tension on the muscle by keeping the body moving with very little rest in between going from there to a very tough single arm lateral raise because my arm is fatigued it's going to be hard for me to get 10 reps with this one little 10 pound dumbbell in his hand oddly enough this arm will be easier because while the other arm was working this one was getting rest and the added recovery time makes it easier for me to perform the exercise without too much fatigue. But this is a great combination. It incorporates core and shoulders because I'm focused on posture as well. Here, with the $5 chest expander, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades back, doing what we call scapula adduction. You know, we're squeezing the scapula muscles together working on the posterior or the back of the shoulders, the exact opposite of the front part of the shoulders. This is excellent. Okay, we're going to get started on our second set of jump rope now. Remember what I said before, you do not need a jump rope to follow along with me. Pretend, act like you have a jump rope. This is very simple. The muscles that I'm working predominantly here on my deltoids, my shoulders, because they're on fire, but I really feel my calves. I am also focused 100% on trying to maintain good posture throughout my spine. 100 skips, and then we go right back into the push-ups. Getting ourselves set. 
Again, push up with rotation. If you cannot do the rotation portion, I suggest that you just do 10 to 20 push-ups while I do this. Notice I'm rotating at the spine and at the hip. That means I'm also getting my obliques involved. That's the love handle muscles. I'm doing that so I can maintain good stabilization throughout my spine. Then back to the lateral raises to front raises. We call this the T-raise. It's a nice combination exercise, especially with light weight, 5 to 10 pounds, and the muscles will get fatigued. I guarantee it. We're keeping it going in a nice rhythmic fashion, focused on maintaining good posture as much as humanly possible. As I get done with 10 on each move, I go right to the single arm raise. Once again, after doing that exercise, my muscles are so tired that this arm becomes a struggle. While my other arm is down by my side and resting, so by the time I do it, it's a lot easier because the muscle fuel has replenished itself. Now I'm able to move this little weight with very little problem. Good. Maintaining strong posture, pull the stomach in nice and tight. And then going right back to work in my posterior chain, my back, my upper back muscles, my rear deltoids, my back shoulder muscles. You can see I'm getting a lot of good activity, squeezing. I do about 15 to 20 repetitions on this move. I'll repeat this particular routine two more times.